Okay. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do. A, hey, that's all we do. A, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another video. A, hey, coming to you with another video. Thank you. Troop on them. Hey, I am here with another video, okay? See Key here. Cause I used to say that a long time ago. What happened? I don't know. But anyway, see Key here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. This is a super simple video. Matter of fact, let me get comfortable. Let's take off this fedora, baby. Let's put this hair back because we are about to get real on today. This is actually a skincare video, okay? And um, I came out with the book. First of all, before we get started, before we do all that, if you have not joined the fam bam, AKA subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and do so and turn your notifications on because sometimes YouTube ain't being loyal out there. You feel me? I came out with a book in 2017, actually dropped on my birthday, December 13th, I believe was the day we launched it in 2017. So it's been like four years since the book dropped. Let the book drop. That mm, mm, mm. It just happens. I can't, I don't know. But um, a lot of times, and let's take off this jewelry too. A lot of times people will comment on my channel and they will ask me, do you still do the skincare routine? Yeah. Yes, I do. I've only added a couple of things to my regimen and I will um, do like a close up and maybe put it in front of the screen or something like that um, as I'm done and maybe it can roll through as I'm showing you everything, hopefully. And uh, I say that because I do get assistance. My homegirl, Aubrey, like she is my editor. All of her information is in the description box. She's the bomb.com. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna talk about the things that I'm using. I'm gonna do it in front of you guys. I think that I also have been having some situations with my skin um, hormonally, but yes, I still do my regimen. And what um, my regimen does is it helps me not to keep a bunch of scars on my face. So when I do have a breakout, they don't stay there like forever. It, it gets rid of them quickly, all right? And so I'm gonna share um, first and foremost, it's, it's kind of like an updated skincare video, but then it's also a video of me showing you how I remove my makeup. That is actually the bread and butter or the meat of this video. I'm just gonna share some of the stuff I use on my face as like a bonus. Is that okay? Y'all good? Y'all all right? Okay. I do not use makeup wipes. However, I do love the um, makeup wipes from LA Girl. They are makeup removing wipes. I love them for when I'm doing makeup and I have makeup on my hands and I wanna make sure that I clean everything on the surface, my hands, my fingers, under my nails. This is so, they're so juicy. I love these. Like they sent me about four packs or something. I'm on my last one. I'm gonna have to go buy some. And you can buy some too and get a discount. I'll put all that in the description box. But I love these. And I also like the Sephora wipes, whether it's the papaya, the cucumber melon, they have a few of them. However, they dry out a little bit quicker and I love the fact that these are so moist and the, the juice <laughs> lasts longer. But I'm gonna show you how I remove my makeup without wipes. The reason for me not wanting to use makeup wipes or anything else during the removal of my makeup is because I wanted to keep it as close to natural as possible. And unfortunately, when we use these makeup wipes, we do not know what is all, what all is in there. If you read the description box, you do, but I don't wanna like have to kinda decode all the products that are in makeup wipes. I just don't wanna do that when I take off my makeup. So I simply use grapeseed oil and I, that's the, that's the main thing I forgot. Did, what? Hold on. Okay, okay. That's the main thing of the whole video and I don't understand how I could forget it. So what I do is I remove my makeup with grapeseed oil and I like the Napa Valley grapeseed oil and I have a video all about this, but I know that things get, after four years, baby, it's like, it's like covered up, hidden, like you have to dig and, you know, to find that video. So it was recommended also that I do an updated video on this and how I remove my makeup. And I was like, that's a great idea. And so what I use is this grapeseed oil by Napa Valley. Oh, I may not need to do a close up because this is looking real good. It's Napa Valley Naturals and it is, uh, it's pressed grapeseed oil and I get this from Whole Foods and it usually runs anywhere from like eight to like, t there you go, eight to like 10 bucks or something like that. You may be able to catch it on sale. But the reason, um, and a lot of times people call this um, oil, the oil cleansing method, if you will, but I like to use that because it gets rid of all the grit and grime. It gets my liner, you're gonna see, and that wing is sharp, like sharp enough to cut somebody. But it gets everything off. 
even my semi-permanent brow pomade, it gets it all off. So what I do is I put it inside of a container, something like this. Don't laugh. I should have put it, I should have like, <laughs> you know, printed a label or something. But anyway, don't, don't, don't judge me. Let me just do that. But I put it in a container that I got from Target, like when I travel and it just has a top to it and it's just grapeseed oil. But before we get this party started, what we are going to do, and wait a minute, let me tell you something else too. The reason I like to keep it as natural as possible when removing my makeup, cause I, I put on all kinds of primer, I put on all kinds of makeup, foundation, all that other stuff. I just want to like limit as much as possible, like chemicals and all kinds of extra stuff that I'm putting on my face. Now I can't speak on like the Aveeno. I don't know how natural that is, but that's one thing that I love for my face. And I have, um, on my, in my book, I use the clear complexion cleanser, but then when I was traveling, I have been doing a lot of traveling over the last few years, right? And um, I cannot take this cleanser unless, I guess you could take it when you pack, when you check the bag, but if I have a carry-on, I cannot take this. They will take it because it's six ounces. So I found this, which is um, Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, and I find it's an exfoliating scrub, but it's a wash as well, and I find that my skin actually loves this as well. Anyway, let's get started. Before we start this process, I'm going to remove my lashes. Um, and when I remove my lashes, no, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Get oil or a Q-tip or anything like that. I just, with, with gentle loving care, I just pull her off. Okay. That's how we do. And then boom. And then when I want to reuse them, I just take the glue off of there. I don't soak them. I don't do like, I don't do all that. I'm going to just be honest, keep it real. And then before I do this process, I definitely have to take off my contacts. So glasses are over there. We will be grabbing for those in a few because I, it, it, all is going to be blurred, but, um, definitely take off your contacts. The reason I recommend taking off your contacts before, um, doing this part is because sometimes you may get just a little bit of oil, you know, on your eye. May, I've actually gotten some in my eye, but be very careful. Like close your eyes really tight. So you don't, but just in case I like to take off my contacts. So what I do now is I simply take this, uh, this grapeseed oil. It's really weird. Cause I like to do this in front of a sink, but um, nobody, I like, I was like, I'm not about to set up all the way, like in my kitchen or in my bathroom, my lights are in my studio or in my makeup room. And so that's where we're going to keep them. <laughs> and so I wanted to make this video as quick as possible. And so this grapeseed oil breaks down all of your makeup and everything on your face. Like, look at that. Watch me work. Watch it. These off. Watch it work, work, watch it dissolve. <laughs> and um, the reason I selected grapeseed oil for this is because I researched a bunch of essential oils um, in regards to what is best for me to use on my face. And I like what I read about grapeseed oil. I like the fact that it's an antioxidant. I like the fact that it tones your skin. I like the fact that it helps with aging and things like that, right? It helps with the elasticity of your skin. So just based on that alone, I figured, hey, I'm gonna go with grapeseed and it's pretty light it's not like super thick I take off my mascara and everything this is why I take off contacts girl and so it takes off mascara it takes off super duper matte lipstick it removes um, that liner you see that so it removes everything and I just blend it out with my fingers and then um, I simply remove it using a warm paper towel or multiple paper towels because you know I'm generous with those two and then when I remove it Everything comes off. You're going to see how clean it gets. And then I just wash my face and I'm going to show you the different things that I use for my face. I get the paper towels from Target. I love their up and up. Don't mind that because it's all good. But I love their up and up. And I love the fact that it's the um, make a make a sheet. So I don't use like a whole one. I can use them in like a uh, half. That's warm water. And I like warm water because, you know, the warmth of the water, it actually opens your pores, right? And then cold water closes it, just like when you're washing hair and it closes the cuticles and open them. It's kind of the same concept. So I do use warm water. And then two, warm water helps it be, remove more easily. And then you just go and wipe it. And then whatever, you know, you didn't get with your finger, you just go over with that paper towel and you can see literally that mascara, that liner, 
get in there. It, it literally comes off. And this is another reason why I take off my contacts because I'm rubbing my eye like this, getting everything off. I don't want to irritate my eye or get my contact like, you know, have it come off or move all around my eye. Like ain't nobody got time for that. Now it doesn't get all the gunk off, but it does take off that, that, uh, top layer or all those other layers that you use of your makeup. And I'm going to wash my face like in my bathroom and everything, but I am going to come back and show you everything that I use. So you see how clean that that is oh what I am going to do because I did use the exfoliating um, facial wash or facial cleanser earlier today because I washed my face two times a day I got back on my regimen I'm actually gonna use the clear complexion foaming cleanser um, to wash my face like right now and then once I wash it I use these premium cotton ovals and this is not sponsored by Target but I wouldn't mind and I love them because they have a soft side and they have an exfoliating side um, if I really need to get the grind off and the exfoliating side is not like super uh, rough or anything like that but it does have two sides and I like this better than the regular round um, cotton rounds because it, it's just not enough like with this one I feel like I can wipe I can wipe I can fold I can wipe I can use the other side and it's not all like dissolved in my hand by the time I'm done so it's pretty sturdy and then after that in the daytime when I use my um, moisturizer I use the Aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizer and I'm going to put a link to my book below too gives you guys all the details gives you guys all of the details sorry um but it's the daily moisturizer by Avino absolutely love this it does has a S has a what the heck is happening in my life I'm going to put the link to my book in the comp or in the description box so you guys can check out the book and it has all the detailed information however I get this from Target as well this has an SPF of 15 and so I use that as a daily moisturizer but then at night I use my emu oil now somebody told me that I was saying emu oil and they were like you're totally saying it wrong so emu emu a this is what I use at nighttime and I like this because um, I go into way more detail in other videos but I like this because it um, it helps with inflammation you can use it for arthritis you can use it for sore joints and the reason that I used it for inflammation and for pain is because back when I had hormonal acne like really bad I would have like literally like it looked like a boil on my face almost, right? And so whenever people would hug me and if they would touch my face a little bit, it would hurt. And so it was hurting underneath. And it, would, it was like a, oh man, it was just very painful. So anyway, it was like a boil and it was hurting underneath. And so after doing all my research, I figured this will probably help with the inflammation and with the pain. And so um, it has other benefits as well. But that I did a whole video on that like years, years, years ago. So maybe I'll link that below. But just know I've grown a lot since then, okay? My whole appearance, okay? But um, this is what I use at night. And if I have a really bad breakout, I will use a little bit of tea tree oil and kind of like spot treat that bump to dry it up and get rid of it, okay? So that's what I've been doing. But I am going to um, wash my face real quick. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you how everything looks like when I'm done. And maybe just kind of talk a little more as we're going through the process. Be right back. So I'm back, but when we got the glasses on standby, don't play. And so what I did was after I um, after I washed my face with the Aveeno, I took my Dickinson's Witch Hazel, the poor perfecting toner. <laughs> I love that stuff. But hold up, because we got a situation. Aquaphor, come through, because that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Dry me out, girl. So now I just take a little bit of the emu oil and it can be a little bit pricey but you don't use a whole lot at a time i use about that much i don't know i can't see what that even looks like on screen but i do about that much on each side of my face and i rub it in there child and then i'll also put it under my eyes and i put everything you know i put it on my neck too because you know as you get older you want to make sure that those areas are looking youthful as well. It's a part of the face for me. And this is pretty much um, my routine. 
it's very very simple i do not try a whole lot of skincare products do companies reach out to me to send me a lot of products yes but because this works for me and it heals my dark spots very quick i don't know if you guys remember when i had a super bad break out there now i have a little spot but it's literally almost gone these are close to being gone too and then i also do exfoliating and i just use brown sugar and i mix it with my grapeseed oil as well but i will tag not tag this is not instagram but i will put in the um, description box a link to my skincare playlist so you guys can see all of the videos that i've done throughout the years you can see what my face looks like without these little doohickeys on it right you can see all of that and you can see that i have not changed much except for i added a couple of things but and i am thinking about going to get like a real facial but i had a traumatizing experience so we'll see we'll see so let me know if you guys have any other suggestions or any other ideas and i thank you guys so much for coming on by i thank you so much for tuning in i thank you for the love and support liking sharing commenting and all the good stuff subscribing and so you guys have an awesome blessed day and i'm not gonna say that i'll see you sooner than you think but i'll see you soon bye confidence is key you know what I mean A woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover